All right, come on. Dang, this dude is throwing rockets everywhere, bro. Oh my God. Dang, come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. Another 50 rockets, bro. Oh my God. Let's go. Dang. What? 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 If you've been watching my channel long enough, you already know that from software is number one on my shit list when it comes to game development companies. It's been about 10 years since I've played Dark Souls 2 and ever since then my mental health has been on a decline due to all the trauma I've experienced while playing from software games. Last year they released Elden Ring and it was amazing to a lot of people. Sadly, my experience was the total opposite. Dude, you're trapping me in here, cuz. What the fuck, bro? Come on, son. Oh, I'm fucking dead, cuz. I'm fucking dead, bro. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I don't even know what to do anymore. What is this even for? Now in 2023, From Software has released a game called Armored Core 6, and they are still causing trauma to my fragile psyche. The most important thing I learned while playing Armored Core 6 is when you think you've won, you fucking lost. Come on, we almost there, baby. Come on, come on. We're almost there. No, no, no. Ah, come on, come on. Dang, come on, come on. Shoot, 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 shoot. Let's go, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, man, finally. Whew, man, finally. I am so happy right now, bro. Ah, man, I'm so happy right now, bro. Ah. Well, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Prior to watching the trailer, I've never heard of this game. So I'm not familiar with its history. All I can tell you is that the first Armored Core released back in 1997 and I was a chubby two year old baby. When Armored Core 5 released back in 2012, I wasn't really into mecha games. I was too busy telling people to go fuck themselves in Black Ops 2 lobbies. And when I wasn't doing that, I was playing Assassin's Creed 3, Archive 3 and Halo 4. If it wasn't for animes like Gundam, Evangelion and Eureka 7, I wouldn't be open to playing games within the mecha genre. After watching these animes, I thought it was cool to see big ass robots fighting in densely populated cities where they endangered millions of innocent people and caused billions in property damage. So when Armor Core 6 released, I gave it a try and I'm glad I did because I found that there's nothing more satisfying than speed blitzing another mech at 600 miles an hour and watching it blow up in slow motion. Along with the fast paced combat, Armored Core 6 has great visuals and in-depth customization that is out of this world. When I first started playing this game, I was a little overwhelmed but once I got the hang of it, I haven't been able to put it down. If I had a middle finger, I'd be sticking it up right now if it was an emo. Fuck that shit. The story of Armored Core 6 takes place on an alien planet called Rubicon 3. You play as a mercenary named C4621. After landing on Rubicon 3 illegally, you steal the identity of a dead mercenary named Raven and pose as them. The entire planet is at war due to a mysterious substance called Coral that is responsible for humanity's advanced technological achievements. In the beginning, your part in all of this was simple. Your shady handler named Walter would accept jobs from the warring factions of Rubicon and send you to go handle it. All you had to do was complete the job and collect the money. As a mercenary, you're loyal to no one, but there will come a time where you have to choose sides and that decision will affect everyone. What I liked the most about Armored Core 6 campaign was that you could choose the missions you wanted to partake in. Once you made your decision on one of the two missions, it would affect both future missions and the game's ending. When you have chosen one of the missions, you will be locked out from the other until New Game Plus. This game encourages multiple playthroughs. In addition to the multiple different endings, there will be new missions and gear that will be unlocked in both New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus. When it comes to the story of Armored Core 6, it was decent, but how it was told is where the issue lies. Though there were cutscenes here and there, majority of the campaign's dialogue occurred over cheap ass walkie talkies that could be found at your local Walmart. On top of that, the mission briefings were just slideshow presentations of the assignment details. For a series that hasn't released a new title in 10 years, you would think that From Software would have taken more of a cinematic approach, but let's be honest, we all know that From Software isn't known for using cinematics to tell a story. 
Armored Core 6 combat is phenomenal. The movement is so different from what I've experienced in other From Software games. I was amazed by how my mech elegantly glides around dodging projectiles with finesse. The armaments at your disposal allow your mech to engage enemies from any distance and you will get a feeling of satisfaction when you blow the ass cheeks off another mech. With the in-depth customization, there are many parts and weapons to choose from that will allow you to strategize and approach situations from a different angle. You can be lightweight and agile, a tank with high defense and heavy artillery, or you can be something totally different. There is a decent amount of enemy diversity in this game. As for the regular enemies in Armored Core 6, there are soft as wet toilet paper because they die so easily. Naturally, as you progress through the game, things get a little bit tougher. But since Armored Core 6 is made by From Software, you should already know that they're full of shit and they are going to make this game nearly impossible to beat. Regular enemies gain Ultra Instinct. Pulling off. Oh my god, his dodges are just this dude knows he's got ultra instinct, bro. He got fucking ultra instinct. Yeah, he got ultra instinct, bro. This is that's crazy. Many bosses upgrade to main bosses, and main bosses become cheating bastards that move at the speed of fucking light and consistently stay out of your camera view, attacking you from your blind side. Where where is he? Well, okay, there he is, there he is, got him. Alright, what well, here we go. He stays out of my, oh my God, where is he? Oh my God, he stays out of my camera. This is literally cheating, bro. Thank you from software. Finally, I guess, oh my God, my, my ammo. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, thank you from software. There are two gripes I have regarding the gameplay. The first one has to do with the game's poor weapon balance. There were a lot of weapons that needed buffs and there were weapons like the Songbird and the Zimmermans that needed to be toned down a bit. Because when I created a build that was centered around using these overpowered weapons, the game became too easy. This also affected the PVP as well with most of the player base using these weapons. During my third playthrough of the campaign, Bandai Namco released a patch aimed towards weapon balance. After finishing the campaign and spending some time in multiplayer, I can say they took a step in the right direction. However, when it comes to Armor Core 6 online multiplayer, there is a slight problem. It has no matchmaking. Instead, you have to create a lobby or search for one to join. Luckily, finding a room wasn't an issue, and the match usually began shortly after I joined. I really enjoyed playing online. However, I felt that the developers missed out on a huge opportunity by not having matchmaking within Armored Core 6. And let's be real, a game that doesn't have matchmaking in 2023 is crazy. Armored Core 6 was a needed update for the mecha genre. I enjoyed the fast paced combat, challenging boss fights, numerous weapons, and parts that made it to where your mecha could take on any threat. Even though Armor Core 6 story was held back by its dull mission briefings and radio dialogue, it didn't stop me from beating the campaign three times. So without further ado, I give Armored Core 6 a 7 out of 10. That will be it for today's review. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts regarding Armored Core 6. Don't forget to tap that notification bell in order to stay up to date on my content. Stay safe, my friends, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.